I'm Maya. I'm Julia. The line up, and welcome back to another favorites video. It is the November favorites. Last ding, month ding, of ding. the year. Last. Next month. Yes. Now. <laughs> now. Today. Yes. Is December. It's December. Yes. So it's the last month. And you know what that means? It's sex season, bitch. It's my birthday in like three weeks. Yo, She's girl reminding is turning everyone. 22. December 21. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, guys. Write down on your calendar. It's very important. And my first fashion favorites that you might have seen on all my latest pics on Instagram is my East Pack shoulder bag that's camo. So when we went to New York, we did a little collab with East Pack and we received all these camo bags and I've really been using it so much, like literally every day. Also because I'm lazy that I don't like switch out my <laughs> bags all the time. But it's been so useful because it's like, it's really small, but it fits everything I need in a day. Because usually when I have bigger fanny packs, I just put, on, put in so much stuff because I can fit it, but I don't really use it. And now I just have like, my camera, my wallet, passport, headphones, charger, and I'm good to go. And my next fashion favorite for this month is a really fuzzy faux fur from H&M. It feels so luxurious and it's so warm. So I don't really need to even layer that much, but it's just perfect. And it's really cozy to travel with because I can just use it as a blanket or a pillow or both, which is amazing. And my last fashion favorite for this month are my new buffaloes. I already have black ones and I recently got a pair of white ones. And I've just been loving them so much. They're already kind of dirty. But yes, I've been wearing them quite a lot for the past month. So my first fashion favorite is the hoodie that I'm wearing right now. And it says the future is female. It's actually made by our good friend Frank. And he made- Shout out to Frank. Shout out to Frank. He makes these and they've been popping and it's such a nice sweater. I, I didn't really have like a nice, good fitting black hoodie. So I got this one. I'll leave the link in description so you guys can support. You know, gotta support your locals. And my second fashion favorite is this bag that you've guys seen on the gram. It's so cute. Look at it. It's this furry leopard bag. And I'm furry. Furry. <laughs> furry. <laughs> I was gonna say fur, but it's not fur, it's just furry. Um, leopard bag. It's so cute. And I just I love that the strap is a little longer so you can like actually put it like on your shoulder. And it's really big, you can fit a lot of stuff into it. And I feel like it's a nice bag because you can wear it to kind of piff up an outfit. And it's from Topshop, but I got it via Nelly. And I also saw that they had these in like black as well, if you guys aren't into like the leopard print but i feel like we've been out. into animal print kind of oh my like god when i wore the snake skin top and wore this as a bag it's a kind of you know when you when you're late with the animal prints you just kind of yeah we were late everything i didn't have. really hop on until like this month yeah so yeah you guys are probably gonna see a little animal print from us mm -hmm. in the next few like lookbooks and stuff mm -hmm. but yeah this is a really cute one and then my last fashion favorite are the J Don boots from dr martin's i went into the Dr. Martin's store and got these because they're just sold out everywhere and you know I just couldn't really find them but then they did have my size in Dr. Martin's store here in Stockholm but I am gonna say that they're a little small because you tried yeah. on the 37 you should probably they, like size up yeah so I sized up I usually like a 39 in Dr. Martin's but I tried 39 and they were too small because I kind of felt like the end of the shoe hit my toe and so I got the 40 and that's really great and i just want to say that they're so comfortable like i am the kind of person that get blisters like super super quick with shoes and i remember when i wore in my other pair like my regular pair of dr martins that took me like a while to and they because they were so hard but these were so easy to wear in like i didn't get any pain of them whatsoever i just kind of wore them directly and no blisters no kind of like rub marks they're just so comfortable and i think they're worth the money because i've been using them like every day moving on to beauty faves i really don't have that many beauty favorites because i actually have been stopped like i've stopped using basically all of my products because i'm currently on acne treatment so this <laughs> this is the cream i use currently like all over my body and for my face and i've stopped using like 
toners and masks and scrubs like everything because my doctor said just stop using everything and just use this for now and see how it goes and my skin is so good right now and i'm just hoping that it will stay like this after the treatment but the only thing that i do use is eye cream aside from that cream <laughs> and my Ole Henriksen uh, just finished so I have these Kiehl's one at home that I've been wanting to try for a long time it's the creamy eye treatment with avocado and I'm gonna be honest that I like this one more than the Ole Henriksen one because somehow it feels really refreshing when I wake up after I put this on and also like before you put concealer under your eyes I just feel like it's really moisturized and I like a dewy look for my face and you know like when your eyes are dry that's just like no but I really recommend this one if you don't have an eye cream it's really rich so you need to like warm it up in your hands before you apply it but it just like it's really nice my first beauty cream is actually also from Kiehl's and it's the ultra facial cream and uh, I use this one because my Ole Henriks are also ran out and actually went because i we got those like at an old hendrickson event and i was like oh my oh my god i love it i'm gonna go repurchase it but then i saw it was like 800 crowns so i <laughs> obviously i did not repurchase that so i just had this one at home so i switched to this one but it's really good i really like it because i'm the kind of girl like i have like i have a hard time finding moisturizers because i really like the kind of gel moisturizers i feel like those work best for me and this though isn't a gel moisturizer, but it works really good because it kind of has the same texture. It's not super like, you know how like regular Heavy. moisturizer. Like, yeah, I like gel moisturizer because they're more light, and this one is really light for not being a gel moisturizer, and it's super hydrating, especially now during the winter since it's getting a little cold. So I feel like this a little thicker cream is really good, and another. Speaking of hydration, is this Clinique Moisture Surge? hydrating supercharged concentrate it's pink it's cute so i also i found this at home and i'm like oh what's this let me try it and what i don't like about it is it doesn't have any instructions to how to use it <laughs> i was like so when i put this on after this or after everything or before i have to google that and apparently you put this on before your moisturizer so i usually do like I clean my wash my face and then I do my micellar water to get off all of the other stuff and then I trying I'm trying out this tea tree serum wait for next month to see if I mention it if I like it or not and then I put this one on I do like one drop and put it all over my face and I like it because it dries super fast like it's like like your face just like sucks it in and I put this one on top and I've noticed that I have not been having any dry patches at all because I usually get it like around like my nose and maybe like on my forehead during the colder months and I also feel like I don't get as oily as I did in the past because I would kind of like not put moisture on my face because I thought you'd do that but now I'm I'm really hydrating so I actually notice I'm not getting as oily as I did in the past so I def definitely recommend these two products if you guys live somewhere cold and need hydration stay hydrated Damn. guys drink water <laughs> so since we've been traveling so much for the past month I actually haven't been able to update my playlist that much I don't have that many new music favorites but the few ones that I do love is uh, first one is called Nola by ASEAN she's a really small LA singer and I just like I've been listening to her music through like a dance like a choreographer that I follow that usually does like choreos for her songs and I just feel like this is like a song that I usually just like start clicking when I want to listen to my chill playlist but all the fun of these fake bitches these hoes and I don't need that they are and then a song if I've been a more hype Lady, which I haven't been actually because I don't go out that much anymore but like if I just like in the mood I've been listening to Drake's non-stop which is like I, I didn't really listen through the Drake album because like it was 25 songs do you really expect oh uh, yeah to I just all of those songs? so I was just like anything that I stumbled upon I would listen so non-stop I've been listening to got them all bitter I'm a bill printer I'm a grave digger yeah. Another hype song that I've been enjoying this month is called Fifi by 6 ix 9 and Nicki Minaj and Murder Beats. I just like everyone does like CZ, Fifi, 
Kiki. <laughs> it's like. So my first music favorite is a song by Black featuring J. Cole called Pretty Little Fears. I'm a little late to the song because I know it released like a while ago. But I saw it on YouTube and I clicked the video. I'm like, oh, what's this? I'm like, yes, I love this. I love J. Cole's verse. He's one of my favorite rappers of all time. You guys probably heard it, but for the people that haven't, listen to that. <laughs> Confide in me. I could take the weight up off your shoulder blades and try to store the pain inside. And the next one is actually a song by Alina Barras featuring Khaled called Floating. Very good. Their voices really match together. And so I really kind of feel like Alina Barras, kind of like, you know, the vibe. Vibes. The song is just vibes. Staring at my thoughts, floating up to the ceiling. So, and the next one is a song by Bad Bunny. I've actually been liking Bad Bunny a bit lately. And he has a song called Estamos Bien. It's really good. You know, saying Bad Bunny vibe. I kind of like him. I like his vibe. I like his whole like mode. His, his aura is just, you know, I like it. So, yeah, listen to that. Next is movie favorites. So I have a new Spanish series for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so, it's called Velvet, and it's also on Netflix, and it's great. So I started watching the spin-off called Velvet Collection. I do not like that one. <laughs> it's not as good as Velvet because I mean Velvet was amazing. So watch Velvet. I mean, it's a little long, I'm not gonna lie. It's like four seasons and it's like 25 episodes or something. You know what? Winter break is coming, so... Winter is coming. Winter is coming. So you guys should watch that. I mean, I don't know, I'm just like so into the Spanish telenovelas lately. There's so much drama. You're practicing your Spanish, and I love it. You know? I, I mean, my, my Spanish has been like... It been popping. It been popping ever since the Spanish telenovelas would be like, <gasps> Lo siento. Te amo. Te quiero. Un helado, por favor. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, Cut. I'm kidding. No, but watch it, it's really good. So, I have rewatched Avatar The Last Airbender and... Solid series. Yes, and the sequel, Legend of Korra. And that is in total seven seasons. The Avatar Last Airbender is like every season has 20 episodes, but like The Legend of Korra only has like maybe 10, 15 per, se per season, you know? But yeah, I, I, I watched that, you know? I lack self control and I can definitely finish a season a day. Um, so I, you know, it. With the jet lag after New York, it I feels was like we're like in an addiction meeting, and I'm yes. like listening to you talk about your addiction. <laughs> I'm Hi, like, I'm mm, Julie, and I'm addicted mm. to watching series. <laughs> no, but like I have not watched another series after that because like is uh, like I I get so unproductive, and that's the reason why I do not watch series in, in the first place if I have stuff to do. But like it's so good, it's so good, like. I still want to know what happened to like Zuko's mom because you still don't know what happened. It's such a cliffhanger. But yeah, I've been like googling stuff. Like I'm that I'm that bitch. So a book that I've been oh, reading. Yeah, you got a book. I've been reading books, guys. It's been a while. No, but uh, I read to all the boys I've loved before. Like I like obviously we mentioned the movie like a few months ago and that was amazing. And my sister. It's a real OG. I know she watches my videos. So Lucy, thank you so much. But she got me all three books from the library and it's like major cue to get them. But she got them for me. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm gonna read the second and the third book also because I have them right there. But I finished the first book and it's just like, it's really good. I feel like obviously like the movie was a really good adaption, but there are some details they left out that I think are really good that you can find out in the book. Buy now at Amazon. <laughs> this, was a, this was a partnered with Amazon. No. Buy now at no, Amazon. No, no. But that's it for us this month. What? Hey. We have fashion favorites. No, outfit favorites. I forgot about. We always forget about. So them. our fashion outfit. 
Our fa so our favorite outfits of the month are Thank you guys so much for watching the video. We hope you guys liked it and got some tips on how to live life, hydrate, watch series, whatever. Mm -hmm. You and know, if you guys have any music, especially music and like movie slash series that you guys want to recommend, please do. Because we're a little dry out here in that area. So please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Mm -hmm. And um, otherwise, happy sparkle season. We'll see you in the next one.